Hello, everybody! Welcome to another exciting episode of Let's Play Nuclear Throne. In the last episode, I kind of told you about my life and everything that was going on in it, and it's none of your business, but I wanted to let you guys know where I was at. And, um, I'm coming today. Uh, it's update number 38. Uh, it's kind of a, not a boring update, but a less exciting update. It sounds a little better. Um, but co-op is more stable, which we haven't even played co-op in this Let's Play yet, and hopefully we'll get a chance to someday. There is a lightning hammer, which sounds really cool, and I'd love to find it. There's an improved fish roll, which sounds like a really sketchy menu item at a sushi restaurant. you you got to try the fish roll. It's, it's improved. Pro we promise. It sounds sketchy. I don't know if I'd, I'd order the improved fish roll. Tons of balancing, various tweaks and fixes, and tons of balancing usually is like, you know, enemies take more hits, some enemies take less hits, some enemies do this type of shot, some enemies do that type of shot. But since this is the update of the improved fish roll, and I already made a joke about it, I'm going to go ahead and play as fish. Um, fish is definitely not a fan favorite. Um, by me or anybody, it seems. Uh, recently, they did a vote on the Nuclear Throne wiki for who your least favorite characters are, and Fish, I believe, was number two, uh, only to be below Rebel, which I don't really like Rebel either, but the developers of the game tell me all the time, like, no, Rebel's actually really good, we promise. Um, but so the fish roll, the, the way they improved it, other than by, you know, using fresh fish and, you know, not using weak old fish, I, I need to stop making jokes about fish rolls. Uh, they actually, I'm going to go ahead and use shotgun fingers, because if we can get a good shotgun weapon, that would be awesome. Um, but the way they improved it is, in case you haven't noticed, is it's a lot shorter and it's a little more concise. Um, so when you roll, you just kind of roll real quick. And I apologize for Action Scotty's tweet there. Go follow Action Scotty on Twitter. Um, and I know exactly who he's responding to. I just, I tweeted a picture of a big cup of coffee, and he probably wants my coffee. But you know what? He can't have it, because I need that to function. Um, but yeah, I have, like, the, the, one of the best things about living at home is that I had a Keurig at my apartment, and I love my Keurig, because I used to drink way too much coffee. Like, I would have, like, 10 cups of coffee a day or more. I would just make a whole pot, and then I would drink some of it you know, in the morning, and then I would drink the other half, like, just throughout the day, like, as iced coffee. Um, and then I got myself a Keurig when I moved out, or actually it was a birthday present, uh, but I got a Keurig, and the nice thing about the Keurig is it, it, you know, you make one cup at a time, like, one actual cup of coffee, not, you know, well, this is a giant cup, but it's still one cup, <laughs> um, but, so, like, you know, it, it, it's a little more labor-intensive, so what that does is it makes it so you don't necessarily drink quite as much. I'm going to go risky with this run, and I'm going to use these two weapons together, the screwdriver and the grenade launcher, because I think this whole episode I'm going to be using fish, and uh, I think to get, you know, to have the best chance with fish, we need to, uh, we need to, there was something I wanted to say, and now I can't think, oh, we need to get the golden gun uh, by going to young Venus's mansion. And uh, it'll just be fun to go to the mansion because it's a really cool level, and I like showing as many secret levels as possible. And with the grenade launcher, we'll be able to go to secret level also. And, uh, wow, we are getting... We leveled up every single level, which is really... Well, every single stage we leveled up, which is really good. Um, but yeah, I used to drink, like, so much freaking coffee, and, it, you know, it's really bad for you to drink that much. I mean, coffee's fine, but it's not great for your stomach, and it started to make me feel sick. And, you know, the, even worse is I... I relied heavily on it to function, you know what I mean? Like, if I went with a day without, you know, a cup of coffee, or not even a cup of coffee, like a lot of coffee, I felt awful, um, which is not advisable. Like, I don't, I, I don't recommend being, uh, relying on anything to function with your day. Um, you know, alcoholics could tell you that. Um, not to say, you know what I, I just said, I realized I said that and now I'm regretting it because alcoholism is, you know, nothing compared to drinking a lot of coffee. That sounded kind of insulting because alcoholism is a much more serious uh, issue. All right, well, I don't want to kill everything. Oh, there we go. That actually worked out pretty well. Jackhammer. Well, I don't want the jackhammer. Oh, we're doing pretty well here. I'm actually really happy with that. Um, I did a recording the other day. I was recording an episode of this and... The uh, the recording got messed up, and I was really, really upset about it. Um, so I feel kind of weird. Oh, no. What am I doing? I'm throwing, like, real hard. I just need to fire some grenades up there. All right. We really need health, or we're going to die. 
Or if we just find the car real quick, we can just move on to the next level and hopefully find the golden gun before anything terrible happens. Oh, yep, yeah, there you go. I'm totally not surprised that that happened. I should have rolled back, but whatever. Roll back the rock till the dawn of time. Like, we're back dinosaur story. Anyway, I used to drink a lot of coffee. And when I got a cure rig, you know, I just would have one cup. And I, you know, I kind of did it as an active decision to not drink so much coffee. Because the other problem with when I drink coffee is I drink it with... When I first started drinking coffee, I drank it with, like, tons of sugar and tons of cream. Uh, and that, you know, it's bad for you. Drinking that much sugar is bad. And I quit drinking pop just because of, you know, how much sugar is in it. Uh, but then it was like, you know, I'm drinking coffee and getting just as much, if not more, like, sugar and gross nastiness. Um, so over the years, you know, I've used a Keurig to drink less coffee. And I've limited my, you know, cream and sugar use to make it not as unhealthy. Um, we're going to use back muscles because fish gets more ammo uh, in, like, with drops. Like, I think he gets one and a half times as much. I could be wrong, though. It's about that, though. Um, so, he, you know, back muscles usually isn't that helpful because you rarely get that much ammo. But fish does. I mean, you get 64 ammo from that crate, or 64 bullets. Um, but anyway, yeah, so with the Keurig, I kind of limited my coffee consumption. And it was pretty high-quality coffee, so I didn't need to, like, douse it with sugar and cream and all that stuff. Ooh, sledgehammer. I'll take that. And uh, just, you know, I kind of got over it. I'm not going to use the fucking throne, but his throne butt ability is a joke. But now I'm back home. I'm living at home for a month or two uh, till I get another job, until I figure out where the hell I'm going to live, because I'm trying to find roommates. And most of the people I knew growing up, you know, have moved away, or they live somewhere else. And I talked about a lot of this stuff uh, in the other episode. But it, I, I just want to remind people in case they missed it. Uh, so, I, you know, I'm in this weird, awkward place where I graduated and I still haven't found necessarily a real job, you know, with my diploma, although I do have something in the works. I might be working at Cards Against Humanity. And if you don't know what Cards Against Humanity is, it's this really f funny card game. Uh, but they, ah, oh, damn it, I would love to see what that item was, but oh well. Uh, but they're opening a new, like, building, and one of the things that the, they want to do is they want to have, like, a little production studio. And they might want me to run it. Well, they do want me to run it, but they don't know if they'll have the money for it. And it's it's a, it's like that seriously is like the most ideal job. Like you get to run your own studio for awesome people in Chicago. Like that is not a job you get right out of college, but I probably can. And I'm super thankful for the opportunity. And you know, it's the classic situation of oh wow, they're holy shit. This was a crazy level that I just got to skip a lot of. Um, I use, you know, I, as much as I love using melee weapons, the problem is if I don't get scary face and long arms, the sledgehammer is completely useless to me. Um, because it's not strong enough to kill most enemies. Is this, okay. It's not strong enough to kill most enemies, and it's not, I mean, its range isn't good enough. So, I'd rather have the slugger. And I do love having the slugger and the grenade launcher combo. And I'm gonna take shotgun fingers, because it'll make the slugger more useful later. Um, especially once we get to, like, the ice levels. And actually, I mean, it makes it more useful no matter where you are, just specifically here. See, look how much ammo we have already. Jesus. Ooh, weapon. Ooh, weapon crate. Well, I... This isn't as... That isn't that great. I almost want the heavy crossbow, but I don't want to trade anything out for it. Because the problem with the heavy crossbow, it has a really slow rate of fire, and it's, you know, reload time is kind of garbage. So I'm going to stick with the grenade launcher. I might regret that decision, but especially if I end up blowing myself up, which does happen an awful lot in this game. But right now, we're in a pretty good spot. Um, you know, we have a lot of ammo, which as we get further here, especially since we don't have a uh, scary face, it, it becomes really easy to run out of ammo in this game. I don't want to blow up the car, but I don't like it there. Okay, roll away. Ooh, gosh, okay. <laughs> I think some of the balancing, too, I didn't mention all of it, but I think the the assassins were a little bit balanced. Like, they made it so they wait a little bit longer to uh, to attack you. And the, the assassins, I feel like, have been way nerfed in a lot of ways. Like, they, at this point, and I, I'm glad, because at this point, the only reason they should kill you is if you're not paying attention. Um, and there are a few times where they'll get you because you're being an idiot, but uh, most of the time, if you're paying attention, you'll be fine. And right now, we're in a good situation because we have back muscles and we have uh, rabbit paw. 
So we can be getting a lot of items here, but I'm hoping that somebody drops some fucking health. Jesus. Oh my gosh, drop health. Well, I'm and it's I mean it's okay because I'm getting health from uh the bloodlust, but jeez. And these uh snipers are in a terrible spot. And there's another opportunity for to for me to take that, but I still don't really want it. All right, so here come the IDPD. This could very well, yep, gosh, that wasn't even the IDPD. That was me being an idiot. The birds were everywhere, man. They were shooting at me like crazy birds with guns. I need to take a sip of my coffee. Sorry, that was a much bigger drink than I expected to take. A bigger swig than I expected to, to take. Um, anyway, just to finish my coffee story, I'm back home now for a little while. And that's great because, you know, I get to save money. I get to, you know, kind of, I get to be home with my family. And I love my family. Um, but it's still really difficult to be living back at home when you've been on your own for two years. But anyway, uh, and, that you know, they have a normal coffee maker. Uh, and... So I'm really tempted to drink more coffee, and I have been drinking more coffee, but that's also because the coffee that they have is kind of weak. You know, I would drink, like, a lot of light roast. Uh, weak in, like, as far as, like, caffeinated goes. So, like, I went from drinking, you know, two cups of coffee a day. Well, I went, so here's the thing. I went from, you know, ten cups of coffee a day, like, living at home. Then I moved out, and I kind of lowered myself down to... I got down to one cup of coffee, like, every other day. Like, I didn't even drink it every day. And now I'm here, and I'm kind of like, I don't know, I could use more coffee. And I've been staying up late a lot since I've been here, uh, working on projects and stuff like that. Because even though I'm still here, you know, no, I don't, I quote unquote don't have a job. I am doing, you know, some. Uh, I have some video projects I'm doing for people. I like freelance video work, which is cool. Freelance video work is fun because you know it keeps it interesting. You get to try new stuff all the time, and you get clients and all that stuff, and you get to build your portfolio. But freelance is really stressful too because you know some like the first month I tried doing freelance, like doing you know trailers for video game developers and stuff like that. The first month was awesome. The first month I made like you know twelve hundred dollars, you know, just off of like. I'm trying to think of how many videos I made that month, um, or trailers. I only made like three trailers, and I made that much money, which is really good. Um, but then the next month, I didn't get any work. I, in fact, I worked for free uh, for a couple people, and that's fine because working for free is kind of how you get your foot in the door. And like the projects that I work for free on, I don't usually spend that much time, you know, doing, and they know that. Hey. Is it recording a video? What? Video games? Okay. Are you sticking around? Okay. No, I just, because you haven't been here all weekend. All right, well, I need to, I'm, this is going to be another 10 minutes, so I need you to be quiet if that's okay. All right. All right, sorry about that. Okay, so let's see. I don't really like any of these. We could take long arms in hopes that we get a melee weapon, or we could take recycle gland and hope we get like a bullet weapon. But I don't really like either of those, so I'm just gonna roll with long arms because if I can get the shovel or something like that, that'd be pretty cool. But you know, it's this run is far from ideal for me. But you know, I've been, even though I haven't recorded a lot of these videos, and I, I've talked about this a couple times, even though I don't record a lot of these videos anymore, I still play this game a lot. Ooh, double shotgun. Double shotgun is super impractical, but it's a fun gun to use. And this is a really easy sewer level, which probably means the next level is going to be balls against the walls. Ah, uh, damn it. I really should take shotgun fingers because I have a double shotgun but I don't feel like I'm actually gonna keep the double shotgun for very long because the double shotgun is kind of impractical. And I really, yeah, I gotta take Bloodlust because I'm gonna assume that I'm gonna switch the double shotgun out for something else. Oh, but yeah, I've been playing this game a lot, like even you know without recording videos. Um, and I've really been learning how good like lightning or like electric one or energy weapons can be, you know, whether they be lightning or uh, laser. But, 
Oh, God. All right, well, we're going to have to use... I'm just trying to... Okay, we're out. I was just trying to use the laser pistol as much as I could. Ooh, see, they don't swing at you quite as... Like, he, cho he totally should have killed me there, but he didn't. He had mercy on me. Uh, let's see what's in this red chest. Okay. You know what? I'd rather have the auto shotgun than uh, the double shotgun. Because the auto shotgun just shoots fast. The double shotgun just wastes a bunch of ammo. Gosh. I was talking about how much easier you were, and then you just hit me like that. You made me look like an idiot. Okay. That was some good weaving. Um, but here we go. We get to see... This is a nice little showcase for the auto shotgun. Just kill everything. Nothing gets to live. Ooh, that was a good roll, I have to say. Definitely improved. Oh, God, we can get out of here. That was a really lucky shot that that had a... Uh... Oh, should I go last wish? I mean, I don't think I'm going to make it very far without it. Yeah, we might as well. All right. That was kind of nuts, but we made it through. That didn't give us very much ammo either. That's kind of a bummer. So let's see. Which one do I want to take? Crown of choice, one weapon per portal, extra chest. Eh. I'm going to take another sip of my coffee while I'm trying to make this decision. I mean, here's the thing. I could take the crown of love and just get ammo chest from here on out. No, because then that, that'll make it so that there's no health. Hmm. Will it? I don't know. That'll make it so there's no weapon chests. Hmm. Hmm. I'm kind of tempted to take the crown of blood because we have bloodlust, but our health is fine. Hmm. We could just go for the rush crown, but we're playing as fish and his stuff is already worth a lot anyway. Hmm. This is a tough decision. <laughs> I'm between these two right now. Let's go Crown of Death. I'm still not entirely sure what Crown of Death does, but whatever, it sounds cool, so. Yeah, I'm fucked here. I'm not gonna make it very far out of this place. Oh my god, I blew up the car right on myself. All right, we'll, we'll do run more run, run more run. We'll do one more. That one wasn't necessarily all that great. Um, I mean, it was just like the enemy spawns were kind of out of control there. But hey, we started off with a lot of experience, which is good. And uh, crossbow is great. I will totally roll with the crossbow. You know, the thing was, we didn't really have a weapon that could rapid fire really well. Well, that's not true. The auto shotgun does, but I don't really like the auto shotgun that much. Uh, we'll use bolt marrow, and then we'll just kind of roll with crossbow. Um, hopefully, we can get a better crossbow, but honestly, just the normal crossbow is really good. Uh, but if we can get back muscles in this run, that would be good. Like... Any gun that, you know, has limited ammo, like the crossbow or the grenade launcher, which I will totally take in a minute here, um, it's really good to get extra ammo for them, because you can go through them so quick. The bolt marrow is really good. I feel like bolt marrow is one, a pretty underrated uh, mutation, even by myself. Like, I usually don't ever use bolt marrow, because I don't think of it as all that great, but the crossbow is a really good weapon on its own. And I always have, I always talk about how, you know, it kind of sucks to get to this point in the game, or be this early in the game and have, like, weapons like this that only shoot, you know, one shot at a time. But the nice thing about explosives is they just blow up everything around them. So just with a little bit of patience, you're fine. But I usually don't, my problem is when you have, like, the slugger and the crossbow and you're trying to kill, like, one maggot. It's, it just feels like such a waste. But with this, you can just blow them all up in one area. Not the lightning. Oh, I thought I said lightning. And I'm really tempted to take one of these screwdrivers, but since this is the end of this episode and I'm never going to play as fish again, I'm not too concerned with getting a gold gun. But I would love to succeed with fish. You know, I mean, fish is a fine character. Oh, wow. Getting a lot of these mutated uh, tanks lately in the game. I don't know if they added more or if they made them more likely to show up, but I'm totally happy with it because they give you more experience. We get to level up twice, and Rabbit Paw is great, and Bloodlust is great. So far, we have pretty much everything we want. The only thing I really want now is back muscles. Um, in real life, well, I guess I have back muscles in real life, just not very defined ones. Um, 
Ah, oh, damn it. I thought he was dead. And that sucks, too, because we just got up to... We just got our, like, little bloodlust health up. But we should be able to get to full health as long as we don't take too much damage here. Uh, Toxic Bow. No, thanks. I, see, the thing is, like, Toxic Bow is cool, but I don't really like that... It, it's kind of like an explosive weapon in the fact that you can, you know, hurt yourself with it, which is never good. And I need to make sure I... I totally forgot about trying to blow up the sewer. So I need to try and do that. I'll let that guy live. Oh, actually, there it is right there. Let's, um... Let's just blow it up and try to trail back to see if we miss anything. The problem with trailing back is, uh, I believe it's assassins don't actually die from that explode. Like, because the whole idea is when you blow up the sewer, it kills all the enemies automatically, but it doesn't kill, um, it doesn't kill the assassins because they're playing dead. I guess I don't know if that's a bug, and maybe they fix that. I don't know. So sometimes when you're walking away, you completely get blindsided by. Uh, an assassin, which, you know, is the point of them. Ah, damn it. We missed out on that weapon box and on that, uh, whatchamacallit. Look at all these bullets. Jesus. Yeah, God, that was terrible. I mean, I'm just getting into these situations where there's things shooting everywhere. Um, but that's going to be all for this episode. It wasn't successful by any means, but we got to play as fish a bit who's still not really all that great. Uh, but next episode, I'll play as, like, Robot or somebody who I rarely play as, but is actually really good. So, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of Nuclear Throne. I'm going to be trying to do daily uploads of this game again from for at least a little while. And uh, I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope you enjoyed this one. And hopefully we can actually make it far next episode. It's been a while since I've gotten very far in Nuclear Throne. But, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.